What's up, people? It's Friday evening. I just had some ice cream after dinner. Chocolate. And I now have a beer. And that's, this, is, this is my Friday evening. I'm very, very popular. I lead a very exciting life, guys. Anyway, here's Dracula 3, The Breath of the Dragon. The punishment for all offenses was death. Reasonable. For Dracula needed to make an example of criminals. Under his strong rule, trade was reopened and the economy blossomed. Proud of his achievement, Dracula placed a golden cup in the central square of Terminista. Was never once touched throughout. Wait a minute, this was the same thing from Yodit with the golden draperies or whatever. The stake was surely enough to prevent crime, but to rule Valeria while simultaneously evading the plots of the boyars was no small feat. Man, these boyars are such a treacherous bunch. bunch. Remember the Avela ones? Those guys sucked too. Them how many rulers they had seen perish due to treachery. None had seen fewer than seven reigns, while some had even seen thirty. Damn. Yes, <laughs> Dracula arrested them all and marched them here to the former ruin of Pulinari Dust. For months, they labored to rebuild the castle, toiling even after their clothes fell off. Those who survived were slain. Finally, Dracula had eradicated the fickle conniving boyars. Can you guys see why the, uh, Bram Stoker character was based off this guy? Loosely. Again, the dragon was ready to breed a flame that would engulf his enemies, the Turks. He was definitely a pretty brutal guy. Anyway, uh, Vlad Dracula must survive. Conquer Jirju by destroying its castles and all towers. Uh, Dracula now rules Wallachia and thus has access to the Slavic tech tree. Limited to a pop limit of 150. So now we're Slavs. If the Turk uh, or the Turks have a strong grip on both sides of the Danube River, if Vlad's Wallachians are to contest their rule and raid the region, they will need to ob obtain a stronghold first. That will be Jirju. Uh, the strongest Ottoman citadel is Darstor. It is well fortified and has a strong garrison. Several nearby Bulgarian and Wallachian towns provide it with supplies, so it would be wise to uh, attack these found towns first to weaken Darstor's garrison. I don't know why we always start at the bottom of the scouts. Dracula's army has arrived on the road northwest of Giorgio after ambushing a Turkish regiment and is poised to raid the Danube region and northern Bulgaria. Remember, guys, back in uh, the HD version of this campaign, you actually did do this raid, uh, but it was kind of pointless and just, I don't know, it was kind of silly, so they just got rid of it. Um, yeah, so we have to raid the Danube region and northern Bulgaria. The city of Giorgio is well fortified, but has few defenders, so the Wallachians can acquire siege equipment. It should be easy to take the city and use it as a base from which to raid the region. Across the Danube River from the city of Jirju lies the fortress of Darstor. It is occupied by the Turks, who have a strong military presence there. Expect to face Janissaries, Heavy Camels, Hussars, Bombard Cannons, Galleons, and Cannon Galleons. These are definitely the strongest enemies, and they're actually, like, right across the river from you. Like, literally, just, like, right across the Danube. To the west, on the Wallachian side of the Danube, Orsova uh, supplies timber to the nearby Turkish troops and the local towns for shipbuilding. They have a highly mobile army consisting of Magyar, Hussars, Cavalry, Archers, and Knights. These are probably This is probably the strongest enemy of the uh, the minor towns. East of Georgiou, uh, Georgiou, rather, Obluccia, oh boy, that is, I, Obluccia, uh, yeah, I tried, guys, <laughs> is mining the rich stone deposits north of the city. The stone is used by the local towns to fortify themselves against Vlad's raids. Their boyars, archers, and monks will not be easy to deal with. Across the river in northern Bulgaria, the village of Novo Selo is known for its fertile farmland. This food is sent directly to the Turkish garrisons. Only defended by skirmishes in like have, Novo Selo is a rather easy target. Uh, west of Darstor lies the Bulgarian village of Frahova, famed for its rich gold mines. The gold finances all unique units in the region, but most importantly the Janissaries in uh, Darstor. 
Village relies on infantry for its defense, but given time will also build rams and go on the offensive. All of Vlad's adversaries will construct warships as long as they have the supplies for them. Oh boy, this is this is one hell of a scenario. My lord, I have scouted the fortress of Georgiu, but it is well defended. We will need siege weapons to take it. So yeah, we'd just start with, uh, you know, having already impaled the uh, local Turkish army. Also, I think everyone used to be Slavs except for Orsova back in uh, HD, but now we that we are in Bulgaria since I believe the Danube is the... Maybe it's the border between Bulgaria and... or sorry, Romania and Bulgaria? I'm not actually sure now. Regardless, we're going into Bulgaria, so it makes sense, right? But yeah, this is a scenario that definitely some people have struggled on, I know. I think it's actually one of the better scenarios in the campaign. Probably because there isn't the infinite unit spam. I like scenarios that don't have infinite unit spam and have a lot of different sorts of enemies. I guess those are my favorites. <gasps> yeah, so the Ottoman army is just a dummy AI. They they don't really do a whole lot. Uh, they're just the garrison here at uh, Georgiou. Also, the local Wallachians are our allies and just... Yeah, they're, they don't really do anything either. And we'll just get all these villagers once we take uh, out the castle. Anywho, um, back in HD... There is this really weird sequence where you like posed as a merchant or something. And like Dracula posed as like a merchant. And you had to like sneak in and garrison some towers. It was really weird. But like you couldn't alert the uh the enemies and it was kind of buggy. And sometimes units would get stuck and whatever. So I mean they they just replaced that with you get some bombard cannons and now you just have to knock down some towers in the castle. But yeah, getting these Bombard Cannons is really sick. Because... Uh, everyone is in Castle Age. Thought our store will get to Imperial Age. And I think everyone will get to Castle Age eventually. Like, uh, the two Bulgarian cities will get to Castle Age eventually. And then everyone else, I think, stays in Castle Age. The two... Uh, Romanian... Towns will be in castle age already but the important thing is you get these bombard cannons and you can strike fast obviously just using the bombard cannons to knock everything down from a distance There are a few more towers here, if I recall correctly. But our army is obviously very much superior to theirs. Oh, that is a Bombard Tower. No, not the Bombard Cannons. This is the last one. Oh crap. We can extend our control throughout the entire region. Okay, so we start in Castle Age. I think you used to start in Feudal Age, so that's quite nice. Also, you get a foundation for a castle. Yeah. 
Get that up and running. Get that up and running. Anyway, now we strike fast because we have a lot of enemies. And we'd rather not face all of them at the same time. Yeah, to literally defeat everybody. But every enemy kind of has their own little bonus you get for defeating them. Anyway, uh, Oblux Obluxia is the strongest. So we're going to go after them first. And then yellow, and then we're going to worry about everyone on the other side of the Danube. Bringing down those towns and fortresses one by one will be difficult. We could scout their lands to find yeah, ways to exploit their weaknesses. Oh, I think that was implying like you check the scouts report in case you hadn't already. So you could see like what each of the towns provides all the other towns. Anyway, um, green I don't think is going to be too much of a problem. Like, our army is pretty damn good. At least against a Castle Age opponent. And at a bare minimum, we can use this to buy time. I should take one of the Hussars, though. Take the low HP Hussar and use it to scout. Hey! Damn it. What? I heard the Gaia sound. Oh, I guess it's just uh, an outpost. Not really sure why we get random outposts, but, I mean, sure, why not? Oh, we do have Dracula for the entirety of the mission. That's kind of weird. I mean, he'll be useful, though. Obviously, we can't lose him, so... Don't use him to the point where he's gonna die. Really, man? But I think we've destroyed most of the army at this point. Oh, hey, Mr. Sheeper. So, I'm trying to remember what you need to do to defeat the enemies. I think they become your allies after you defeat them. They don't do anything militarily, but I think they become your allies if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, these guys don't seem to have any resources. There's our castle. Slav Navy is super bad. So we're not going to really try and contest the Danube until we're in Imperial Age and we can get some fast fire ships. Ah. Perfect. Oh, and they tributed us some stone. So that's quite nice. Also, we have some random villagers. So yeah, it was, it was some stone here to the north. Oh no. Okay, so I think these guys ally us. Oh, wait, they don't ally us. They just resign. Just 
trying to get our eco a bit more situated. But yeah, right across this bridge is a uh, dollar store. Okay, let's start to get some boyars up and running. Which will, of course, be the basis of our army composition because we don't get many opportunities to play slobs. In fact, this is the only scenario that you get to play slobs where you actually get like a, a full town and stuff. You also play slobs in the next scenario, but you don't get villagers in that one. So this is this is really our the only time we get to fully realize the, the power of slobs. Go. Oh, I need uh, houses. Anyway, Orsova, I think, is too strong for us to take right now. And I'd rather not lose my bombard cannons since they are irreplaceable. Curse you, Darth Thor. Also, I don't remember them being able to cross the river. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Anyway, what, 150 pop limit, so... 80 some odd villagers. Sounds right. Don't have a stable or a blacksmith. Those things are pretty good. Ah, hello, Orsova. Dracula, why, why be so bold on the battlefield when you can just say, stay nice and safe in the castle? You know, you know, man. You know, he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Swamp drain, so weird. Oh, what's over here? Oh, yeah, I think there's a relic. Yeah, there's a relic. Slav farmers are super awesome, though. Definitely have one of the strongest ecos out there. Let's get some... Sork shops. We're going full Boyar Siege, baby. And when we do build a castle, we're going to do it on the water. Just because I have no faith that our control of water here is going to last very long. Come on! Probably have a few too many lumberjacks. Can't resist. The temptation to boom is too strong. Yeah, 
Yeah, Daughter Store hits Imperial Age around the same time I did. Post, yeah. Oh, yeah. Onward to our Sova. And once we take them out, then we don't have to worry about enemy ships. My boy ours. Boy, you're ours. Really? These guys do have a castle. Take him down! Need more gold. But yeah, since we were able to take down green at Wait. Did I not prevent them from, like, not having, or er, from building for- Wait, yeah, because yellow's building a tower right there. That means that because I defeated green, I probably had to, like, destroy some mining camps up here or something. Oh, that's stupid. There's one of my irreplaceable bombard cannons, and the Magyar Hussars are damn good at sniping siege. But I have fully upgraded boyars. And that makes me the real winner. Or something. I thought these guys would hit Castle Age at some point, but I guess not. Uh, Rohova and Novoselo. Ah yes, there's the castle. Get a dry dock, get a couple transport ships, some more fire ships. To the castle. Okay, so they do reach Castle Age. You're just kind of slow about it. And these guys will probably resign once they take out the castle. Thing I invested into fast fire ships. Face palm. All 
Okay, so these guys should be done in a second. Thank you, Orsova. Wait, what? Oh, we get two transport ships. Sure. I don't really want to dock here, so I'll just take the 150 wood. Okay, so I guess they can't make more ships, but they can still have the ships they already made. I guess I'll pick up that relic. Oh, rip that dock. Anyway, we should just be able to land here in uh, Rohova and annihilate everything, because they're in Castle Age and we're post-imp. Yeah. Oh no, they're even, they're still in Feudal Age. Oh, sorry. They just hit Castle Age. Congratulations on hitting Castle Age, Rehova. I'm so very proud of you. You know what I probably just did? I probably prevented them from... Like, they can still probably all train their unique units. Because I think that was the thing we got would get for taking out Rehova. Probably had some mining camps over here. <gasps> um... Let's get some monitors or something. Anyway. This way. Oh no, there's Dracula. Oh, there's Novocello. I wonder if they have stirrups. Well, theoretically, they shouldn't be able to reproduce these warships, because at least I got rid of one enemy. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to take these units and transport them all the way up the river, or I guess down the river, technically, to Novoselo and take them out. Make sure I don't lose them randomly, as I am a want to do. Again, I, I am very sure that uh, I was supposed to at least have disabled enemy warships. Okay, but slinking by Darstor... Sure, mine gold or something, I don't know. <gasps> land, 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 land! Much of the food supply in the region comes from Novo Cell. If we destroy all of their mills, the enemy will be unable to feed as many men as they would like. I wonder what that does. Oh, 
Anyway, uh, they're making like have against Elite Boy R. Nine base damage versus nine armor. They, they are dealing one damage a hit. Well, we just marshal a bit more of an army over here. I guess we need to endeavor to take out the mills and stuff first. Otherwise, then you're not able to get the little bonus objective. I assume all the mills are outside the city. Uh, yeah, here it is. Up, oh. up. Oh. Is that it? No. Is there another one. Oh, there is. Okay, no, we did get all their mills. Well, now I threaten to kill your families. See what a wonderful trade-off you have. You're trading their harsh rule for our harsh rule. The hashtag value. Anyway, this is a lot of seed rams. This is a lot of Siege Rams. Law of Siege being cheaper, quite nice. A 15% discount seems small. And I mean, it's not like as huge as some other discounts, but the fact that Siege Units are, are already so expensive really makes a big difference. I never made a monk. Oh, wait, I wonder, does the Ottoman army count? I'm pretty sure all they have is the Siege Workshop. The power of Slavs! You can see how they have a very strong late game army, but it's very different than Magyars that we saw in the last scenario. Even though we're using a cavalry, like with all the Siege, it's a lot slower, heavy. We were using infantry, which is what you will be doing in most times. Also pretty slow. But Slav infantry is insane. But, well, once you uh, research Druzhina. But even in Feudal Age, you can tend to make, uh, you're able to make a lot of like heavy men at arm plays work because you get free supplies, which is really nice. Whoa, they're making a wonder. Well, that was poorly timed. Yay, relics! Yeah, boy, R plus seed is not normally a comp you would ever be able to afford. Also, I thought we stopped these guys from freaking making ships. Oh wait, I guess I should probably use these guys and attack from the other side. Maybe once we destroy their town center, they'll resign. Because we took down their castle, we took down their wonder. I assume once we take down the TC, we'll win. Yeah, 
And... Nope. Not yet. Yep. Yet. <laughs> G to the G. The scenario felt easier than I remembered. I remember it being a little bit harder. But having the Bombard cans definitely makes it a fair bit easier. But I at least think the idea behind the scenario is really cool. Like you have this centrally located base and they have like a lot of smaller towns that are buffing up the enemy and each other. But like if you can take them down one by one, then you can uh, be in a much better spot. They just felt kind of weak. Anyway, outro. This wise man, whomever he was, was certainly no commoner. I wondered aloud if perhaps he had fought in the wars of which he spoke. My question was answered with a grin and a nod. I was awed to encounter a soldier who has survived those years of turmoil and bloody warfare was it? We sat Giorgio, Darstor, Novoselo, Dridoporo, and many more times. He didn't sack Dridoporo. scars on his arms. Our strikes were swifter than bolts of lightning. Yes, we have peace now, but I have never found it. Not a single day goes by. Alrighty. Yeah. This <laughs> this part just kind of smashed them. Anyway, that was the Breath of the Dragon. Next up will be The Moon Rises, the first one that doesn't have dragon in the title. And that's one that one's that one gives you some gray hair, so I'll see you guys for that next time.